Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let me tell you what happened the day of the fight because someone was like, do you have um, a stunt double? So absolutely not, never. No one had a stunt double. We couldn't go to a hotel. We didn't have craft services. We didn't have bathrooms. We literally didn't have any amenities that we that you would have at home. So about the fight, we're in the desert. We get in the cars, they get us out and we all sit down um, on like the, you know, on the, on the rocks. And one by one, the, the uh, staff would come and get us and take us. And we never, the person who left, we never, they never came back. So they couldn't come back and say, hey, this is what happened. So if number 14, which was my number, if I was called, I would go and do the challenge. And then, and then, I would stay away and then the next person would come. So no one ever came back to tell us what the challenge was. So, so the, so we had our DS and the staff, it's called directing staff. It used to be called drill sergeant, I think, but it's directing staff. So the directing staff, one person came to get us. Okay, let's go. So he looks at me, he says, okay, uh, you're gonna, we're gonna go around this corner. And if you see a, you're going to have to take care of the, and that's all he said. You're gonna have to take care of the, no matter what the is, you're gonna have to just take care of the, neutralize the, and then gain your composure. And then it's over. And I'm like, okay. So again, I didn't have a clue, zero, nothing. We did not know what was around the corner. We did not know what was awaiting us. So he kept saying, stay on my left side, stay on my left side. So I was staying on his left side. He starts running. I'm running with him, staying on his left side. He's like, okay, we're gonna come around this corner and whatever the thing is, you have to take the thing out. I'm like, okay, I'm thinking I have to like disarm a I'm thinking I have to put out a fire. I'm thinking, you know, it's a th somebody's going to get hurt. So I have to take care of this, right? I'm thinking safety. I come around the corner, literally, he's like, stay on my left, stay on my left. I stay on his left and then he moves out, he, he moves out of the way and we, we're running and the next thing I know, I see this big, giant, red, he, he, look, he looked like a transformer. This big man in this super red suit, right? He was all padded up, his his face, his arms, his legs, everything. And he was, and, and the DS said, take care of the, take care of the. So I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm with it. So I just charged at him. And the Detroit just came out of me like, you know, right away, like, you know, a knee to the kidney. Uh, just to the face, I roundhouse kicked him. I was punching him in the like, I literally was fighting, like, 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 you know, like he stole something. Like, I don't know. I was just first, of all, I was just mad because I was hungry because they were, <laughs> were not feeding us, they were literally starving us. And but the point is that I'm trying to make. We did not have any stunt doubles. We did not know what the hell we were doing. We were literally out there being trained the same way that they would train this elite special forces. It was a 10 day course. And most of these courses last about four years. And half of the people, more than half of the people who start the four year course, they never finish because they, unfortunately, that is the truth of it. So it is not like, this is a real, real reality show. It is called Special Forces World's Toughest Test. And it's on Fox tonight at nine o'clock. I just wanted to come on and say, let me tell you something. I have never done anything like this in my life. And I really did it because I wanted to challenge myself. And I, you know, I wanted to just grow as a person and I wanted to overcome some of my fears. And this show has done everything for me. 
Everything that I set out to do, this show helped me to accomplish. And I can't tell you all of the things because I want you to watch. I want you to see how special the challenges were, how incredibly scary it was, and how you just really, it wasn't me against Mel B. It wasn't me against Dwight Howard. You know, it wasn't me against um, Jamie Lynn Spears. It was literally me against myself. 